Oh, well, it is Outlander. So um, even though they are settling down this year. And finding a sort of a real life together and, and uh, yeah, something they've always wanted is to, to, to have this family and this home. The American dream. Is that the same as our dream? It is. Part of the problem is, first of all, they arrive in, in um, North Carolina and there, there's many options for where they're going to settle. I mean, Jocasta offers them a place, I suppose, but for Claire that's um, obviously she doesn't want to stay at River Run. I think the whole idea of her being on a plantation is, um, it's, yeah, she just can't have that, so Jamie gets offered. Yeah, some land, and he does a deal with with the British, which obviously is goes kind of against everything that he's uh, believed in before. But it's a real new opportunity for them, and they both, I believe, fall in love with the land and uh, and see the opportunity there, and an opportunity to create change in in America and and, and America that's in its infancy. Just mess, <laughs> messing each other, I suppose. Mm -hmm. That longing, burning desire for Roger to have Brianna by his side always. Oh. That's sweet. Isn't it? Yeah. And it ends there, happily. That's it. <laughs> Your story is just the perfect union that doesn't go wrong in any way, shape or form. Ever. Isn't tested to the absolute limits and doesn't drive Roger crazy. No, it does. I mean, my highlight is Rolo, you know, and he's been released. Everyone knows what he's going to look like, um, but I'm, yeah. Um, for Brie, I guess there's lots of meeting new people and old people. Who are you meeting? Who are you meeting, guys? Maybe. Boys? Potentially. Girls? Oh, Potentially. <laughs> Dogs. Yeah. Dogs. <laughs>